Angie Martinez rocked the radio world when she decided to leave Hot 97 and jump ship to Power 105.1. Yes, and welcome to Friday Night Live, everybody. Now Angie Martinez is breaking her silence about the move, her new gig, all things Angie Martinez. And who better to talk to her than our own Lisa Evers? Lisa, this was an incredible, incredible get. Everybody's excited to know about how she feels about the move she made. Well, Darian and Steve, I mean, it was a big move for her. She spent her entire radio career at Hot 97, but Power 105 was a new opportunity. She said it was time for a change and overwhelmed by the support that she got from some people. So she invited us in for this exclusive interview. Awesome. Take a look. Terrific. Pro Styles on a set. <laughs> Call us up, 1-800-585-1051, hashtag Angie on Power. The power move. I know. How Hold crazy on. is that, Lise? Fantastic. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, man. I'm so excited. It was day two for Angie Martinez at Power 105.1 oh, and her first TV interview in her new studio. After years at rival hip-hop station Hot 97, where she topped the afternoon ratings, Power 105.1 made her an offer she couldn't refuse. What I had was great, and I was lucky to have it, right? But after, after you've done it, and you've kind of like, you can do it with your eyes closed, and there's really nowhere to go, and then you're just kind of sitting there, and you can't just do that. You can't keep doing that. You have to... You have to f you have to grow. Angie is known as the voice of New York for her interviews with celebrities, ranging from rappers and actors to the president. She's on a first name basis with them. A lot of people called in, like Jay called and Swiss called and Rick Ross and Fab and all these people called, and that's amazing and that's great. But really, I spent most of my time on the phones and talking to people and finding out. It's like re get it's like starting f like like it's pressing a reset button, so it's starting from scratch. But it's the intimate connection with her fans she values most. I just feel like everybody has their own things to do and to take time out of your life and out of your day to send me a message that's so touching and it's like it's crazy so sweet. it's so sweet reports about a new multi-year deal with power 1051 parent company clear channel put her salary in the superstar stratosphere she told me she was worried her fans wouldn't accept her move but it was just the opposite there was an outpouring of support and love when it happened and everybody was showed so much love I'm, i feel so overwhelmed i feel like so not worthy it's so it's i, I can't even explain to you it's because people, the outpouring. Like, even in talking to you, like I could get watery right now again still. This hardworking mom has shared her life with her listeners, even the birth of her son, Nico, who's now 11 years old. Her fans are her extended family. So every time, like, I'll be on the street, they'll be like, hey, Ange, how's Nico? But it's very, like, matter of fact. Like, I know you, I know you for years. How's Nico? It's 5105, let's go. Now, whether it's celebrities that she interviews or just her fans on the street, the word that comes up about Angie over and over again is that she's real. so real, real. Yeah. is that she's authentic. Yeah. Yeah. And just to give you an idea, this is real action. It's mm -hmm. not just her giving lip service. The first couple of days she wanted to spend just with the listeners. She's holding off on her big name celebrities coming into the studio oh, that's cool. until that's next yeah. week. So we were lucky to get in there. Nice. That's awesome. Awesome. Well Lisa, done, Lisa. You're Thank real you as well. Much. We love it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.